Good morning. It is um, July the 31st, 2018, and I just wanted to come and visit with you and share with you my progress, if I've had any, what I'm eating, to what I've got planned to eat today um, because of my lack of editing skills and lack of editing program. I uh, A full day of eating would just be too long and ridiculous so but i did go ahead and prep my food i already had worked out today did some cardio and weights and then i came home and had my bulletproof coffee which i kind of add some protein to my bulletproof coffee sorry and uh to flavor it and i add two tablespoons of coconut oil and one tablespoon of Kerrygold butter, and then I add a half a scoop of this Quest salted caramel. It's pretty good. I like it. It gives it a good creamy flavor. Um, of course, it's protein, and that's not very... Too much protein can be bad. So I only um, added only a half a scoop to it, So, which is, uh, of course, no fat. And uh, 11 would be 11 grams of protein, and probably what it says total carbs is three grams, and then you got your fiber and stuff. So it's probably in half a scoop, it's probably less than one gram of carbs. So that's what I already had, which was, and I've been trying to track on my fitness pal at least most days of the week. Um, I'm on day number, I'm trying to lengthen the amount of days I eat well you know um, so let me tell you about that real quick okay never mind let me go ahead and show you what I'm eating I've already told you about the coffee um, and I've got my snack of one ounce of pecans which is 20 grams of fat good fats and got fiber in it pecans are a great source and then I have some you see some squash and uh, a cucumber I think or a zucchini squash and cucumber some cauliflower rice a boiled egg some one ounce of bacon um, this is 80 20 ground beef and some Kerrygold butter and a boiled egg of course that's pretty much my meals for today because all of this is going to be over 12 including my coffee and the pecans is over 1200 calories according to my fitness pal of course um, that's about covers my meals for the day. Does that seem like a lot much? But still, 1,200 calories. My fitness pal tells you, you got for a female, you got to have at least a 1,000 calories. So it's 1,200 calories. And you think about how I eat other days. I've got to balance it out. I, Sunday, you know, but before Sunday, I had three days in a row. I ate really well. Um... You can get you one of these calendars, some kind of little pocket calendar, and track how many days you eat well and which days you don't eat well. So, see, I ate well for um, the 26th, 27th, and 28th, and I, I'm a visual person, so I like color. It, it stands out to me. It makes me feel like, oh, I've accomplished something. And then I had a break, and I ate a lot of treats. I went a little bit overboard. And then today, yesterday I did well. I ate about 1,400 calories, if you want to go by calories. And then today is that. And then, yeah, I want to try to start with, try to aim for self-control for three days in a row. And then hopefully build up four days in a row. But any progress is better than no progress. And learning about yourself and your weaknesses. And if you can't go a full week without cheating on your nutrition plan, then start with two days. You know, I can go two days and hold off on two days and then build on that. Build on that. So you have to know yourself and what your weaknesses are and what days you fall off, what days 
are your hardest days. And mine are Wednesdays and Sundays are my hardest days. So my three days in a row will be include a Wednesday this week. So that's going to be a challenge, but I'm going to try. I'm aiming for that. Um, and I wanted to go with, over with you. You know, I have my little daily planner here, this one, um, that I track sometimes what I eat, put down what I eat. Because Sunday I did, I ate, uh, I made, gave in and had a pancake. As I told my son, I'd make him pancakes. Strawberries, I had a ton of watermelon. Which is kind of good, but I mean, I ate a lot of watermelon. I watermeloned out. Um, but I was looking over my, so far it's been, we're at the end of July and I looked at how did I end each month so far and weight wise. I know weight's not everything, your clothes size, how the clothes fit is more important, which let me tell you, my clothes have not changed so far. I'm still at the, where I've been. If you've been watching my videos, my waist is still pretty much the same around 32 ish inches my goal is 29 inches I still have that goal I have not gave up on that goal it's just self-control the eating is 80 percent what you put in your body exercising is great but you can't depend on that alone for meeting a physical goal and I've got a race coming up in a couple of weeks so I'm working on that um, extending my cardio and but making sure I'm still lifting heavy but as I was saying I was looking over the last day of each month sorry you hear heard my son drop something over there but that's okay are you okay Matthew drops this. that's okay it's all good you could clean it up it ain't gonna hurt nothing so um, back to that and I started at the end of January, I was at 140. But at the end of March, I was 136. And now at the end of July, I'm 145. So, what does that tell me? I've been not doing as well. I've, I've not been, I've been doing, I've been just staying around 140 ish, give or take a few pounds. And that's great if I don't lose any more. I don't get, I'm sorry, I'm having to adjust this thing here. I, I feel like the lighting is just not conducive right now. Okay, but back to that. And I've been, I'm like, I'm going to write down at the, when I finish a month, at the end of each month, write down what I ended with. Now, I lose water weight fairly quickly. If I do well today, like I said, I was 145.5 this morning. If I do well today, I'll probably be 144 tomorrow. And usually it's water weight. It's not, you know. Um, Anything else I wanted to share with you before I get off? Because I want to try to keep my videos kind of condensed. Because I know a lot of you that do follow me tend to... Uh, my, the analytics on YouTube show me that people tend to cut off at five minutes average um, if it's not entertaining. And I don't think I'm as entertaining as some. And I have been evaluating what I've been watching on YouTube myself and thinking about why do I watch these people and this type of videos when, you know, and it comes down to motivation. I believe... It helps me to encourage me to, like I watch Keto Connect, some Dr. Eric Berg, uh, Nikki Blackheader for some motivation, and she's entertaining too, you know. So even though she's really not competing in fitness anymore, and I don't plan on ever really doing that because I will, I mean, but I do want to see how far I can get. I still have my hang belly hangover. And that's okay, you know, some things are just, if I can just get, like I said, I, I don't want to get to the point of where I'm unhealthy. But, you know, my body fat is still around 30-ish, and according to my Weight Watcher scale. So, keep striving for your goals, um, and look over, know yourself, know yourself, and know, um, what you want 
and but you do have to first know where you're at and what your weaknesses are so you can um, know how to adjust things and figure out what will work for you start small if you can only eat one day a week healthy to start with then that's a start that's better than nothing right and then build on that because jumping into everything and it can be overwhelming right so you want to start small and take it one day at a time at the end of the day say you know did I do well today and if you did give yourself a smiley face um, pat yourself on the back and then maybe you can do another day but if you don't do another day until the next week don't beat yourself up just try you know that's all we can do is ever is try and continue and everything so yeah that was my food that's gonna be my food for today and hopefully you know I don't know if I'll have anything else but I, I take these nuts to work but don't forget I did have my big coffee that had a lot of um, healthy fats because coconut oil has Two tablespoons, 28 grams of fat. The one tablespoon of butter is 11 grams of fat. So don't think I'm starving myself because, you know, every few days I tend to give in. And I'm thinking, you know, if I have something else, uh, watermelon is always a good choice, I think. But I love berries. I, I did, I think I did eat a couple of strawberries yesterday too. So, yeah, stick with something you know pick yourself back up and try again because as you've noticed over my videos I tend to not make progress as well because I don't always tell you but I fall off I do eat garbage you know every now and then so probably more than every now and then at least once a week or so yeah so I'm gonna this is day number two of trying to stay eating correctly uh, something oh well I've rambled on long enough I'm gonna let you go and hopefully I can keep you up to date and I thank you for following liking my videos if you've made it this far subscribing and clicking the notification bell so you can stay on top of my journey and I'm thinking about doing a little um, thing here to call kind of title my stuff fitness in the 40s because most of the youtubers I watch are actually more in the 20s so and I'm thinking something to have to do with middle-aged women getting fit in their 40s I'm gonna look and see if there's anything on YouTube already that's titled something similar having to do with female fitness in their 40s and all of that because I am fitter than I've been in my 30s or 20s definitely and healthier i'll talk to you guys later and you guys have a great rest of the day and i'll try to get this uploaded soon bye